try and explain uh, in the simplest possible terms, in terms that I can understand, um, how GDDB's architecture works and then you can see where the magic is. So, we all know that it's impossible for any one distributed database to enjoy uh, both consistency, partition tolerance and availability um, at the same time and a lot of compromises are made. What our architecture is, is in fact a consistency database with an available partition tolerant data store um, that work in parallel with each other. So it's not actually one database at all, it's in fact two. Let me explain to you how it works. What we have, and I'm going to draw for you say a three node system, is we have a um, consistency layer which is a fully distributed, sharded, uh, fast, in-memory consistency layer which works in parallel with a fully replicated per partition data store which is persistent. So here's our persistent database working in parallel and in between our messaging layer which is um, using unicast, broadcast or multicast and uh, through our API you can make an update which sends the update to anywhere um, it lands within our consistency layer because it is shared that update is made available to anyone in the system and with guarantees that it is going to be replicated out in time eventually but in our case highly efficiently using right coalescing and uh, various other tricks to make the best of the network to the replicated data store and of course this can be replicated replicated out as far as you like so it's only a three node system and what that, what that basically gives us is consistency and full replication in parallel C plus AP and in the event of a partition and the removal of the partition or a node going down and then coming back online again it minimizes the effect of eventual consistency to the theoretical minimum possible. And that's effectively what we do. So let, let me explain also, it's all well and good to have a great technology and you know there are many NoSQL databases out there so R1 manages to give you immediate consistency and minimize eventual consistency but what does that mean for the everyday user? Well most people can't all of their application um, to, to SQL. A lot of us are using MySQL, a lot of us are using SQL because our data is structured, we need to complex queries and we don't want to change everything, we don't have the time. Um, so, so what can we do? Well we've got, we've got our, our data store here which is uh, you know, our fantastic um, technology that obviously everybody should use, um, giving us consistency and availability and partition tolerance, working in parallel. Um, but we also have a very flexible data model. Okay, and our, our data model, if I can spell, um, uh, is enables us to obviously speak in uh, in a NoSQL key value type way, which is very very fast. And applications, and this is, you know, the vast majority of which are not built or built for uh, speaking to data stores in a key value type way. Of course, you can access our key value API very fast, just as you can in all data, uh, in, in all NoSQL data stores. But because we can manage consistency, we can also speak not only in NoSQL, but we can also speak in SQL. And for instance, if you're running MySQL, you have your tables in there, in ODB for instance, your application is currently talking to MySQL because we can plug in and speak in, a SQL, in, in, SQL, in SQL terms you can speak to our database and enjoy the benefits of our scaling right, with, right through MySQL without changing your app and beautifully we can also do intertable joins which enable you to not only run a, a NoSQL type um, 
a scalable database in parallel with your MySQL database, but interoperate fully, coexist fully, and without changing your app, enjoy the very, very best that you can um, of NoSQL and scaling the cloud. And that's our vision, to bring together the best of both SQL and NoSQL worlds. Thank you.